Now, how we classify injuries? The first is the anatomical classification, which we just in simply explain as structural appearance, closed wounds, open wounds, and the burns. Burns are a different category, so they are classed as other other group. So the closed wound, they are abrasions, contusions. Abrasions in Urdu, ragad lagna jasuke. The damage to the most superficial layers of the skin that is abrasion, contusion or bruise. It is the damage to the subcutaneous structures by the application of blunt force. It crushes the tissues. There is extravasation of the blood in subcutaneous spaces, and it appears as bruise or contusion. Then. open wound can be lacerated wound by blunt force it crushes and it splits the tissue apart and they appear as lacerated irregular margin crushed margins or incised wounds a blade an edge cause cutting or cleavage of the tissues clean cut cleavage they are the incised wound and if it is the tip is penetrating into the body that is the penetrating wound by the sharp edge weapon then it is stab or punctured wound and firearm injuries firearm injuries they are grouped separately because in firearm injury we say that whole of the traumatology is there because the firearm contains not only the bullet but there is fire there are pressure gases shock waves there are the gun powder which is traveling so it causes burning blackening tattooing laceration fractures so all types of injuries comes under the heading of firearms then blast injuries blast injuries is classical example we say when we'll discuss the uh components of trauma we say that until unless the weapon comes in contact it cannot produce damage but the blast is an exception there is no physical contact but the injury occurs and it is because of the tremendously expanding pressure waves and they travel through the body and that pressure waves they cause the damage so the blast injuries is also a special type of trauma and then the burns the burns can be the dry flame burn or they can be wet burns or sun burns then corrosives corrosives any corrosive acidic or alkaline it corrodes the tissues and electrical burns lightning burns and x rays burn So these are all various types of burns. Now, regarding the medical legal classification for which we are mostly concerned with, they are mechanical injuries, thermal injuries, chemical injuries, and electrical injuries. So these are the main types of injuries which become under the heading of medical legal classification. then the injuries can be classified on the manner of infliction on the manner of infliction mean they are suicidal homicidal accidental or in self defense in defense so these injuries on the basis of manner of infliction can be homicidal suicidal accidental and self defense injuries so the injuries medical legally they are the legal under qisas uh, and the ordinance manner of infliction homicidal suicidal accidental and depending upon the causative agent they are when we say the causative agent that is the weapon or the object which is responsible for the causation of trauma or the injury 
and that can be sharp edge then the injuries will be sharp edge or that will be a blunt weapon firearm injuries fire injuries electrical injuries chemical injuries radiation injuries they are all the causative agents causing the so medically legally the mechanical wounds they are if the causative agent is single the blunt weapon will cause abrasion bruises and laceration where the sharp edge will cause either the incised wound or the stab wound but if the weapon are multiple causative factors like blast injuries and firearm injury then firearm injury again will determine that the weapon is either smooth bored or rifled then if it is rifled it is low velocity or high velocity because each weapon will impact differently and then in high velocity it is short barrel or the long barrel the short barrel the revolver the pistols and the long barrel the assault rifles which are clash and go with the ak rifles and so so they all change the appearance of the wound so we have to study them then these are the other injuries with the uh, temperature hot and cold and electrical burn we have discussed all these electrical burn then the radiation burn then the chemical burn now again what is injury in ppc what is injury in ppc body mind repute and property any illegal harm caused by another person to body mind repute and property this is injury in ppc then what is hurt in kasast in the authorities hurt Twenty one, वो तो grievous hurt है पहले के. Hurt in कसास इन दी अथॉरिटीज. यार वो तो grievous hurt पे चलेगा. कसास इन दी अति बार. अब now PPC Pakistan Penal Code injury जो define करती है और hurt जो define करता है कसास इन दी अति. These are two laws. who so ever causes pain harm disease injury infirmity severment disfigurement all types of traumas to the body or the part is said to cause hurt without causing death so who so ever causes pain harm disease infirmity injury impairing disabling dismemberment disfigurement of any organ or the body or the part thereof without causing death is said to cause hurt in kasas and so both should be clearly differentiated in ppc injury is damage to the body mind repute and property whereas hurt is only to the physical person physical body and that is any from pain up till disfigurement is without causing death is hurt 